Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty, welcome to my YouTube channel. So here I've got a DualShock 4 PlayStation 4 controller and today I'm going to show you how to pair this to a Mac. So this is the MacBook Pro 2023 with the M2 Pro chip and it's running macOS Ventura and today I'm going to show you how to get these two things working together. So if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So the process for this is pretty straightforward. What we're going to do is go to the Apple icon here and then go to system settings and then within the sidebar here we're going to go to our Bluetooth menu and this is going to show us all of the devices that are in pairing mode. Then what we're going to do is to put our DualShock 4 into pairing mode. We're going to hold down the share button here and while we're holding this down we're going to hold down the PlayStation Home button and we're going to wait for that to start flashing. So we can see that this bar here is flashing and basically you can see that in the background here we can see nearby devices DualShock 4 wireless controller is ready to connect. So we're going to mouse over here and then press the connect button and if you watch this flashing bar at the bottom if we press connect then this is going to become a solid button as long as we are fully connected. And you can see here that the controller is now paired with the solid light. Accessibility access is asking us to make sure that this can control things like Steam. I'm just going to press the OK button there and then turn on the Steam access, type in the administrator password, and then basically we can use this as a game controller. So lots of games support this. I'm running the game Metro Exodus, and now that we've paired it, we can actually control fully with the controller. You can see that this analog stick is controlling the camera and then the left analog stick is controlling the movement and we can also shoot the gun as well. If I had any ammo, then that would work. Oh, there it is. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.